Stan, it's Frank Whitaker. Hey, Frank. My boys get rid of that little centipede problem for you? Yes, yeah, Stan. The bugs are just about gone, and so's half my field. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your drivers. They ran your spray truck right over my crops. Frank, your place was sprayed from the air. No one touched your crops. Remind me again why I'm helping you with this? For the good of mankind and the benefit of science? No, really. I'm buying you a pepperoni pizza. Okay, this new modulator should eliminate some of the kinks in my sonic signal. The higher frequency of the tone will draw Godzilla to the buoy. Yes, it's working! Hey, Craven, maybe you should have promised him an extra large with cheese. Wow, if it isn't the undynamic duo. Greetings, Brat Girl. Nick, I have to upgrade the microprocessors in the Sonic Signaler. We don't have the money right now. There can be no advancement of science without the advancement of finance. <laughs> I just made that up. Catchy. I'd give it a 70. It had a nice wine, but I couldn't dance to it. A messenger arrived. This is for you. Bad news? Good news from a mime? On behalf of our client, who wishes to remain anonymous, we hereby present Heat with this check for five million dollars. Five million smackaroos? <laughs> We're rich! <sighs> Without responsibility, money corrupts. Well, any idea who this anonymous donor might be? Oh, who cares where it came from? Five million dollars is gonna buy a lot of microprocessors and transducers. And Nigel could use a systems upgrade. Uh, not so fast, Rockefeller. We need to invest the money. You know, mutual funds, <laughs> stock options. Boring. Enough. We're not doing anything with the money right now. In the meantime, something big is chewing up farms in Illinois. And we have a little pest control to do. <laughs> You know, we should buy this chopper, put in a radical stereo system, satellite TV, snack machine. What? Looks like a tornado hit. Farmers say it looked more like a giant centipede. This weird foam seems to be everywhere. Could it be some kind of insecticide? Or a byproduct of the bug's digestive process. Oh! Nothing yet on the radar. I'm still trying to access some classified spy sets, but there's a new data firewall blocking my way. May I? Be my guest. And stay a while. Well, as suspected, the foam contains digestive fluids, along with some pretty major biotoxins. The centipede might be producing it as some sort of defensive secretion. To defend against what? 
Judging from the bite marks that thing left in the soil, its jaws are at least 50 feet wide. Entry approved. It's all yours. Randy. Well, somebody's been a busy little arachnid. See if you can cross-patch these Landsat images with our sonar scanner. We have to find out where Inchworm's going next. Hefe, linking the sonar to the satellite is gonna take more time. Put it on hold. Our creepy crawler just popped up at the Indiana State Fair. talking centipede, we're talking megapede. It's showtime. Tranquilizer darts can't penetrate its armor. The laser weapons are useless as well. We can't stop this thing. We at least have to make sure we can track it. Graven, we need to mark the mutant with infrared dye. I can rig up the dye canister to Nigel's hydraulic system. If megapede tries to move out of the area, use lasers to push it back. Nick, where are you going? Nice wheels, Hefe. Buying or leasing? Borrowing. Get in. We have to get Nigel closer. That makes them even. must be poisonous. shop. How's it coming? You want the truth? Not particularly. Then it's coming great. Godzilla's fine, Nick. I doubt the poisons in that foam were strong enough to cause permanent damage. The only thing that phased Megapede was a jolt of electricity, and the effect was only temporary. Maybe all we have to do is sustain an electrical charge, create an artificial ion field. You mean make some kind of electrical net to contain Megapede? We can use parts from the broken generator. How soon? Um, tomorrow morning. Now there's a face only a mother could love. If you'll excuse me, I've got to talk to a man about buying a used Humvee. There goes money we could have spent on important stuff, like a basketball court. Ooh, very important. 
A fit body is the path to a fit mind. <laughs> I just made that up. And it's way better than your advancement of science thing. You don't have a clue about how to handle real money. You have to save it for a rainy day. We're scientists. We should be funding our own state-of-the-art research institute, the Craven Foundation. Oh, yeah, that's got a ring to it. All of you are ridiculous. What we need is more sophisticated weaponry. I thought you said money corrupts. In your hands, we. Oui. In my hands, no. What's the 411? All right, when the target is in range, we should be able to discharge a 5,000 volt blanket of electrical waves over the creature, trapping it. Any change in Megapede's location? Bug Boy hasn't moved since I found him back on the infrared two hours ago. Maybe that electrical charge caused more damage than we thought. Either way, he's in for another big shock. You're at the three mile mark. Fork in the road. Right or left? Uh, left. You know, maybe this is far enough. I'm sure Megapede's gonna come back to our world eventually. We could just meet it there. Closing in. We hit something! It looks like a membrane! I suggest continuing at a high rate of speed. Nick, it's right in front of you! What's going on? Stop firing! Deactivate the net! The infrared scanner isn't picking up Megapede. Just the die marks on his former external skeleton. Elsie, all we've got down here is a cocoon. It must be some kind of hybrid cicada. So this is that metamorphosis stuff they were always talking about in biology. Right, Megapede was the infant version of the creature. Followed by the pupil state, which explains the cocoon. And eventually, the change is complete when a totally different adult insect emerges. On the other hand, if this adult mutation is completely different from the baby one, we have to relearn everything we know about it. Including how to fight it. Radar. This is our air control tower. If you read this, turn back. Something's jamming us. What's wrong? Our radio and radar systems are down. We're flying, flying! Megapede, the sequel. The original mutation must have been a crossbreed. Part centipede, part cicada. It's rubbing its wings together. That's the way most insects produce their mating song. The frequency must be jamming all radar and telecommunication systems. You mean the entire city shut down because this thing's looking for a date? F-18s, no doubt carrying a full load of stinger missiles. us directly above the cicada. Craven, get the electric net ready. A little more to the left. That's it. Hold position. Craven. <laughs> Completely 
changed. You give it a rest. Mrs. Mutant's not coming. You know, I like the first Mega P better. Sure, it's great toxic foam, but at least it was quiet. Foam. Insulating foam. The kind you spray in houses. I could use it to coat the cicada's wings. It won't bring down the bug, but it just might silence it. Trouble is, we'll have to spray from pretty close range. Allow me. You may begin the final flight check. With that tank strapped on, we're over the chopper's weight limits. Stay here with Randy and Craven. When we get into range, make sure all other aircraft move out of the area. Good luck, Nikki. That's the kind of girl you take home to mom. The chopper is in position. All other aircraft clear airspace immediately. Uh, the hose! It is twisted! Hold on! So much for insect karaoke night. Oh, we're back online. Yeah! Monique! Nick! Monique, grab my hand! Ugh. Reminds me, we need a new boat. Something faster. Oh, right. Like we're gonna blow our new bank account on toys. We already have a boat. What we really need is research equipment. That is not what I meant. Now, see, a long-term investment plan is the key to... Technically, I'm in charge of this organization. So I think we should spend the money... Do you people watch the stock market at all? Do you, you guys, do you understand the word Enough. players? You are all too infantile to handle the responsibility. Okay, wait a second. Oh, okay. From now on, I will decide how the money will be spent. Is that clear? Boom. Hey, you're absolutely right. You're the only one I trust. So, um, can we talk about my allowance? Oh, my God. 